Hi, I'm Mark Ayler. You've joined me inside of the develop module of Lightroom uh, with this highly stylized grunge image that I've created. Now this is a mixture of developing inside of Lightroom and Photoshop CC. And I'm going to show you the start image. Okay, and this is the start image. If we take a look at the basic panel, you'll see that there's no adjustments. Okay, this uh, image was captured at really quite high ISO. If I look at the information settings by tapping the I key, you'll see this is a 6400 ISO image on a, a Sony A6000 camera in very, very low light conditions inside of this alleyway. Uh, we're going to have to battle with a little bit of noise uh, at, in one stage of this. Okay, so let's, um, let's uh, start by just removing this slight distraction in this right hand corner. So we'll just come into the crop tool and then just move that crop in slightly to remove that distracting uh, shape in that bottom right hand corner. And then we'll commit that crop just by pressing the R key on the keyboard or the crop icon there. Okay, now um, I'm going to do uh, a couple of things uh, with some of the highlights which I find slightly distracting on the right hand side. Uh, the girl's hand over here and also this plastic bag. So we'll do that by just coming in with a graduated filter. Now I'm loading it with minus half a stop. If you've already got settings in here that are inappropriate, just double click the word effect. That zeroes them all and then we can dial in our preferred setting and then I'm going to come uh, over onto that right si side just to knock back these overly bright highlights. Okay, coming to come into the adjustment brush now, double click the word effect again, remove that uh, by half a stop and also bring some highlights in just so you can see what I'm doing here. I'll just uh, press the um, the Z key to zoom in and uh, we'll bring some information in onto the back of the hand there and uh, if we scoot over holding down the space bar scoot over to this bright um, uh, bag over here I can push some detail in there as well now if I need those to be warmer as well I can just raise the color temperature slightly and that will probably help with the hand that was a little bit cool there Okay, you can see the noise that we're going to have to deal with, so we'll deal with that next. Okay, so I'll just uh, close that adjustment brush, uh, come over to the detail tab. You'll notice my basic tab has collapsed automatically because I'm working in solo mode. I just right click on those panels to access that. And I'm going to reduce the noise uh, perhaps by uh, 30 or so just to suppress it and also raise the color noise um, a little bit, to, uh, perhaps up to 50 there. We can also help uh, smooth out some of these um, uh, areas just by raising the masking slider on the sharpening. Okay, not too much of a difference there, but that often can make a difference, especially if we start raising that sharpening slider. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, I'm just going to collapse that panel, uh, press the Z key to zoom out. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add uh, one of my uh, grunge presets. It's a, a sort of a half step process because as I said I'm going to finish this off inside of Photoshop CC. I call it my maximum impact. It's designed to uh, grab the maximum amount of texture and detail in an image. So uh, I'm going to go for uh, the LC or low contrast version there and you can see a lot of the detail has expanded there. Let's just uh, open up uh, the basic panel. Okay, this uh, little panel on the right is uh, being a little bit stubborn closing, so I'll just force that to close. And now you can uh, see my settings here. Um, they're very generous settings. They're 100 on the contrast and clarity, minus 50 on the vibrance, and we've got um, a plus 100 on the shadows and blacks. Okay, um, you can if you wanted just to record those into the preset, uh, you would just do um, Command Shift uh, C on a, on a Mac or Control Shift C on a PC and uh, check None, um, hit the process version and then just put in some of the controls that we've been dealing there which are the ones in the, the basic panel. Uh, plus also um, the, the clarity and also um, uh, the saturation and vibrance. This is what makes uh, this uh, um, 
uh, these settings so we can copy and paste them to another image or we can command shift N and come in and uh, put those into a preset okay again uh, basic tones um, plus also the color um, we haven't made any color adjustments so to speak those are the HSL settings and also the clarity and then we could write that into a, a preset and uh, call it grunge okay so these would give you the same settings that I've just used in my preset here okay I'm also going to come in with a second preset and uh, those presets I'm going to be looking for uh, um, an edge burn preset which is a variation on a, on a vignette I'm going um, edge burn this will just darken down the edges of the image and just to show you a before and after this is what's happening in the effects panel is we've got a color priority um, style minus 40 on the amount 5 on the midpoint minus 90 on the roundness and a hundred on the feather there and uh, it's quite subtle until you see it switched off and then you can see why I actually like this effect it just contains the image and it's not overly obvious as a vignette okay so um, we've um, we've done quite a lot of work there um, the girls place could probably do with being a little bit warmer so I'm just going to um, load another new brush in here I'll just uh, double click the word effect and come in and uh, add maybe just a little bit of exposure but I'm more interested in the warmth here okay and we're just going to push that over the girl's face there and maybe even a little bit more warmth just so it looks like she's um, uh, not freezing there okay so I'm pretty much ready now to go into the uh, the next step which is to take it into Photoshop CC so I'm just going to right click edit in and then open as smart object in Photoshop we're trying to keep this workflow non-destructive here um, so this is going to um, uh, duplicate the raw file and embed it into a smart object as uh, Photoshop opens um, as you see um, up here in Photoshop you'll notice in the layers panel that it's not actually a background layer it is a smart object containing a raw file and if we double click on that uh, raw file thumbnail um, then we're going to see all of the settings that we've been doing inside of Lightroom and we can make any minor adjustments if we need to I'm just going to hit cancel out okay the next um, stage of the process uh, happens in um, two, uh, two uh, um, uh, mini stages we're going to add some Gaussian blur just to smooth out some of this uh, detail um, and uh, then we're going to add another set of camera raw settings via a camera raw filter so first I'll come up to my Gaussian blur okay choose an amount that will just remove the detail the surface detail and keep it reasonably low it will need to be varied depending on your subject matter okay select OK um, at the moment it's the whole image is blurred but we're going to sort of um, stir this in with the underlying detail by using a blend mode just double click on the um, uh, smart filter blending options there and uh, set the mode to overlay okay now we are going to get excessive um, color saturation and contrast at this point but we're going to combat that with the uh, second round of camera raw settings so we're going to pick that up as a filter camera raw filter okay now as you can see all of the sliders are zeroed out because we've got now a second chance at sort of uh, combating um, some of the side effects of that um, Gaussian blur in the overlay mode we want the blur but we just don't want the um, the side effects of contrast and color saturation so I'll be looking to uh, lower the contrast and also lower the saturation just to calm that image down I've actually created a preset inside of Adobe Camera Raw which is my high impact stage 2 and as you can see I'm going to really push the detail inside of this image okay I'll just show you those settings again it's a little bit of a repeat uh, of the first round i.e. the highlights are minus 100 and the shadows are 100 but we're instead of uh, raising the contrast we're now lowering the contrast the exposure probably doesn't need to go down a third of a stop so I'm just going to make that a little bit brighter 
and uh, if we just want to spike some of these colors then I can put um, the vibrance uh, sorry, the, push the vibrance down and push the saturation up okay we can sort of play with the color mix with these two sliders and then I'll select OK to apply those settings okay now um, the Gaussian blur filter will have more of a presence inside of the image if we push it to the top of the smart filter stack so if I just click and push that up to the top uh, we'll see the Gaussian blur take a stronger presence when that re-renders this file like so okay so um, and again uh, if uh, I want to uh, play with any of the settings I can come in uh, say to that camera raw filter and uh, readjust any of the settings there I'm thinking for instance that I'll come into my effects and maybe uh, push that vignette a little bit stronger that was part of um, my preset there uh, as well as the basic settings uh, adding another vignette there okay so um, let's go back to the basic panel we can make any other modifications if we like such as making it just a little bit brighter and then selecting OK okay so uh, that's uh, really good with that second vignette just coming in a little bit more behind the edge burn okay so that is pretty much my grunge effect uh, uh, technique and if I want to catalog this with the master file inside of Lightroom I'm just uh, going to hit the um, a keyboard shortcut command s for save on a Mac that'd be control s on a PC and then after that saved I'm just going to close that file command W or control W on a PC and then I'll just switch over to my Lightroom catalog and there is the edited file that we just finished a second ago inside of Photoshop CC uh, catalogued with the original uh, raw file and this will be coming in as a multi-layered TIFF if I ever need to go back in and edit any of those components I'll just right click edit in Photoshop CC and edit the original only by editing the original will we be given access uh, to um, the smart objects and the smart filters